For billions of years, Mars has been a world of mysteries, shaping theories about planetary evolution, water history, and even the possibility of life. Every new spacecraft sent there uncovers strange phenomena that force scientists to rethink what they thought they knew. But sometimes it's not Mars itself that's acting strange, it's the instruments we use to study it. And right now, one of those instruments is showing behavior so unusual, researchers aren't sure how to interpret it. The 3 I Atlas, a powerful tool designed to collect high-precision data as it closes in on Mars, has started producing results that challenge expectations. Instead of the stable readings scientists rely on, it's showing an extreme negative polarization effect that doesn't match existing models. In other words, the instrument is detecting something that can't be neatly explained with current understanding. And it's happening at a time when accuracy is critical for interpreting Mars' surface and atmospheric properties. If you're fascinated by the kinds of discoveries, make sure you subscribe. You won't want to miss the unfolding story of many kinds of discoveries. Ever since humanity first detected objects entering our solar system from the depths of interstellar space, the mystery surrounding these visitors has only deepened. The first confirmed case, Oumuamua, sparked global fascination when it raced through in 2017. Its speed, shape, and unexplained acceleration challenged every theory available at the time. For many, it highlighted just how little we know about what drifts between the stars. Two years later, two I Borisov followed, offering a more familiar appearance with its comet-like tail. Unlike Oumuamua, it could be studied in detail, yet it still carried signs that it had been forged in a very different environment than anything in our solar system. These two encounters proved interstellar visitors are not rare accidents, but part of a much bigger story waiting to be told. That bigger story now has a new chapter, 3I Atlas. First detected earlier this year, it immediately stood out because of its size and trajectory. Observatories worldwide began tracking its path with great urgency, knowing how fleeting these opportunities can be. Unlike a comet bound to the sun, interstellar objects don't stick around for long. Each passing day is critical for gathering data before they vanish back into the void. The attention around Atlas has only grown stronger as it continues to approach the inner solar system, promising a rare chance to observe an alien traveler at close range. From the start, Atlas has challenged expectations. Its retrograde motion, its alignment with the ecliptic, and its projected encounters with major planets all make it unusually well-positioned for observation. In fact, the precision of its orbit has allowed scientists to coordinate efforts across multiple telescopes and space probes. Both the James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes were quickly enlisted to focus on it, along with ground-based observatories. At the same time, mission planners at Mars saw an unexpected opportunity, using orbiters already circling the planet as extra eyes to capture data during Atlas's flyby. This level of global cooperation underlines just how significant the object is. Aumuamua passed too quickly. Borisov resembled a more familiar comet. But Atlas offers a different kind of moment, one where technology, timing, and trajectory all align. The scientific community is treating it as a once-in-a-generation chance to fill in missing pieces about what kinds of matter and structures exist outside our solar system. The mystery lies not only in its interstellar origin, but also in what it might reveal about the diversity of materials drifting between the stars. What makes this even more compelling is the mounting sense that 3I Atlas is unlike any visitor we've studied before. Each round of observations has only deepened the puzzle, hinting that its behavior doesn't fit neatly into established categories. Researchers are already finding themselves challenged by data that seems to resist conventional explanation. With its closest approaches still ahead, anticipation is rising, because the next results could force us to rethink not just what Atlas is, but what interstellar objects truly are. When telescopes began to lock onto 3I Atlas during its approach toward Mars, astronomers expected the usual signatures of dust, gas, and reflected sunlight. 
Instead, they were hit with something entirely different, a level of negative polarization far more extreme than anything ever recorded for an interstellar object. Negative polarization is a way light behaves when scattered off fine particles. Normally, light waves scatter in predictable directions depending on particle size and composition. With Atlas, however, the polarization dipped to unusually negative values, meaning the scattered light was being redirected in ways that defied current dust models. In planetary science, polarization is a critical diagnostic tool. By measuring it, scientists can infer the properties of dust grains, from size to composition to surface texture. On comets and asteroids, values tend to fall within a known range, shaped by decades of observations. A sudden deviation usually suggests either a rare material or an unexpected structural arrangement. Atlas, however, was off the charts. Its readings didn't match cometary dust, asteroid regolith, or interplanetary particles. Whatever was causing this polarization, it wasn't behaving like anything from within our solar system. One of the first interpretations considered was particle size. Extremely fine grains can sometimes exaggerate polarization effects, but even with the smallest dust models available, the numbers didn't add up. Another idea was that Atlas carried dust grains with unusual coatings, perhaps exotic ices, carbon-rich shells, or layered minerals forged in environments far removed from our solar neighborhood. These exotic materials could, in theory, redirect light differently. Yet the data still resisted precise explanation. The behavior of Atlas's scattered light looked almost engineered, as if the particles were organized in structures far more complex than random dust clouds. The Martian orbiters provided another critical angle. Positioned to observe Atlas as it passed near Mars, they recorded polarization signatures across multiple wavelengths. These observations confirmed the anomaly. The deeper scientists looked, the stranger the results became. The degree of negative polarization increased at certain angles when it should have leveled out. Even more puzzling, the values shifted in real time, almost as if the dust environment around Atlas was actively changing. This wasn't the static, predictable signature of a cometary coma. It was dynamic, unstable, and highly unusual. For comparison, scientists revisited the two earlier interstellar visitors. Aumuamua, with its cigar-like or pancake-like shape, showed strange brightness fluctuations but no polarization anomalies of this magnitude. Tui Borisov, though exotic in composition, still behaved within the familiar limits of cometary physics. Atlas was different. Its extreme polarization wasn't just a matter of degree, it was a matter of kind. No known interstellar object, comet, or asteroid had ever produced such light behavior. This suggested either Atlas carried materials we've never seen before, or its surface and dust were structured in ways that physics hasn't yet modeled. One working theory is that Atlas formed in an environment with unusually high radiation levels, perhaps close to a massive star. Such radiation could alter surface chemistry, producing dust grains coated in exotic polymers or carbon-rich films. Another possibility is that Atlas's dust grains are unusually porous, with fractal-like internal structures. Porous aggregates can create strong polarization signatures, but again, not usually to this extreme. The fact that Atlas's readings exceeded even the most radical models has forced researchers to expand the boundaries of what's physically possible for interstellar dust. Beyond the dust itself, the dynamic changes in polarization hinted at another factor, outgassing. Atlas might be venting jets of gas and dust in irregular bursts, creating constantly shifting scattering environments. This would explain the real-time changes, but not the extreme baseline polarization values. To reconcile both, some researchers suggest Atlas may carry layered or stratified materials, where different layers erupt under different conditions. This would give it a shifting face as it spins and vents, leading to complex, evolving polarization effects. The consequences of this discovery ripple far beyond just Atlas. If interstellar objects can display such extreme and unexplained optical behaviors, it means our assumptions about dust, light, 
and particle physics in other star systems may be incomplete. Current models of planet and comet formation assume a certain range of dust properties. Atlas challenges that foundation. If such exotic grains are common, it could reshape how we think about the chemistry of protoplanetary disks, the migration of materials across galaxies, and even the origins of life-bearing compounds. For now, Atlas remains under constant observation, with astronomers racing to collect as much data as possible before it disappears back into the dark. Its polarization anomaly has become a focal point for researchers worldwide, sparking papers, debates, and new models that stretch the limits of established science. Whether it's exotic chemistry, fractal dust, or something entirely unimagined, Atlas has made one thing clear. Interstellar visitors don't just pass through unnoticed, they rewrite the rules as they go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.